Cool. Okay. So, um, so welcome everyone. Thank you all for watching. If you're watching the um, next installation of my Meet the Maker interviews for the Bristol and Bloom Appalachian Regional Art Festival that's happening on um, Saturday, August 8th of this year at Cumberland Square Park. Um, today, I am chatting with Tammy Johnson. Um, Tammy, thank you so much for joining me for this interview. Thank you, Marcy. It's my pleasure. Cool. Um, so Tammy, why don't you, just for people who don't know you, um, if you would just tell us a little bit about yourself, like um, who you are, where you're from, um, what you do, and yeah. I'm Tammy Johnson. I always lived in this area since a little girl. Um, love it. Love the mountains. Um, I'm a nurse at Youth Care Pediatrics. Also live on a farm with my husband. Tons of animals that kind of thing. Um, love to paint. Just started that a couple of years ago. Love it. It's just very stress relieving. Super cool. Um, so what I can see, so just behind you there is a ton of your work and um, I can definitely see that um, common theme of you know, farm life almost, where you said you live on a farm. Um, so is that where you draw a lot of your inspiration for your work? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm just going to share my screen here so that people can kind of see, I've got your Instagram and Facebook accounts pulled up. So can you okay. see that okay? Yes. Okay. So here I've got your Facebook page. I love this painting of this cow. Um, that Thank is you. so cool. So you said you've only been painting um, just in the last few years? Uh -huh, about two years. Okay, what made you get started in it? That's a funny story. My sister-in-law decided to have um, a painting party at home. And oh, I cool. thought, well, this could be fun. And she said, pick out some pictures. She would print them and we could do it because she had went to a party. party. We did. I loved it. I became addicted. Um, my mother-in-law came in and said, well, is Tammy here? I haven't heard her speak because I was so consumed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it just, you know, when I start painting, that's, that's my focus. And I've loved it. I've loved it ever since. Yeah, that's so awesome. So for you, um, this has really turned into, um, it started out as something that was really stress relieving. Is it something that you're hoping to do more with? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Cool. So have you done any festivals prior to applying for the Bristol and Bloom? I have not. Super so, it was cool. so this will be your first time. But, yes, but I'm still looking forward to August. Yeah. Very I, I, cool. I have painted some things at the doctor's office that I work at on the patient bed. It's a pediatric office and the children love it. Cinderella's um, carriage, that kind of thing. Super we cool. We were remodeling. Yeah. Well, it's nice when you can, um, you know, the same way that painting, like the act of painting is a stress reliever for you, even for the viewer, someone who's, you know, looking at a painting, you know, like the children in the office, being able to see those paintings can be, you know, comforting to them as well. Um, so that's really awesome that you're using your work in that way. So I'm going to share my screen again, just so we can see um, the first thing. I wanted to talk about is it looks like is this a commission that you had um to paint somebody's house uh-huh yes super um, cool that looks great actually um, a birthday gift for them um and it turned out rather well um the colors you know are not exact but i think they really liked it i love it and i think it's such a great gift idea. And those are the sort of things that, you know, um, people really cherish those, those moments and those memories, especially when yeah, you can capture them like that. So this was something that I saw also in your Instagram feed, which I'll just pull up here. Mm -hmm. Um, and I wanted to chat with you about this. So this looks like, it looks like you said it was a, a COVID-19 project. So something you've been working on in quarantine. Yes, it is. Okay, so can you tell me about um, what is that and what um, what kind of project, how it started, that sort of thing? That's a, a very old camper that my husband remodeled some on the inside. 
and I thought one day I would really like to paint this because he's always wanted a cabin in the woods. So he got a cabin in the woods. <laughs> and with the moonshine still and the outhouse door, um, the sign that said corn cobs, one per person. And, and we've really got a lot of comments about it. That is so funny and so cool. I love that you did that. Um, and what a cool way to use this time to continue to practice your craft and do fun projects. Um, and that definitely looks like a really fun project. That's really cute. It was really fun. So um, otherwise, like medium that you're primarily working in, um, what, what materials are you using primarily for your painting? I use acrylics um, mm -hmm. if it's on canvas, like um, the camper, it of course had to be the outdoor. I used some bare paint, Rust-Oleum, but also mixed my acrylics with some of that paint to get the colors mm -hmm. I needed. Yeah, super cool. Um, mm -hmm. So other than that, um, so you just started working with primarily acrylics in the last few years. Um, are there any other mediums that you have tried or are looking to introduce? I have not tried oil, but I would love to try some oil painting. Yeah, really cool. So aside from just the paint party that you attended and sort of got your introduction into painting, have you taken any other classes or anything like that? I have went to, um, the one on State Street with some of the girls that I work with, and we really enjoyed that. Um, and I think it's really good if people are interested to go to something like that, you know, and, and get your feel of it, see if you like it. Um, anybody can be an artist, you know, it's your design. You don't mess up, you know. Yeah, absolutely. And some of the um, conversations I was having with artists yesterday, we were having, um, or talking about that same thing, you know, art isn't something that you can fail at, really. No. Um, but yeah, so I actually, um, so I manage Kiln Time Contemporary Ceramics downtown, and so we do canvas yeah. parties every Thursday, every mm -hmm. Thursday night, and um, yeah, that's one of the big things that I also try to communicate when I'm teaching the canvas classes also, is that um, it's, there's no such thing as bad or wrong, when it comes right. to art, um, it's right. just... And that's where we went, by the way, was Killing Time. We love yeah. it. Dr. Monterey loves it as well. <laughs> Very cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, those canvas classes are so much fun. And I think it's a great way for people to get the introduction, like you were saying. Um, mm -hmm. That was the introduction for you. It's a great way for people to get started and dip their toes in it and just see how they like it. Um, right. But I find that in teaching the classes, um, a lot of people have the same experience that you describe, where they just get totally consumed in the process. Um, yes. And they just kind of lose track of time. Uh -huh. I do that quite often. My husband laughs because sometimes I'm up till 12, one o'clock painting and I don't realize the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool. Well, why don't you, um, are there, do you have any favorite paintings behind you that you want to share? I do, actually. Okay, um, yeah. Husband's favorite is the one of the farm. This was um, one of my first ones that I actually started out with. Very he, cool. Yeah, that's his favorite, I think. Yeah. Um, the other favorite that I actually have is my cow. <laughs> yes. I love it. yes. The little longhorn. But being on a farm and being able to look out and see these type of animals, you know, I can really let my mind go with it, you know, and come in and start painting. Yeah, that's so cool. So for anyone else that might just be getting started or anyone else that's, that's maybe hasn't gotten started yet but wants to, do you have any um, just kind of tips for you know, those people that are either hesitant to begin or just beginning um, because, you know, you've done so much work and produced so much in such a short span of time. And so for some people that that can seem, um, could seem almost intimidating. So what do you have, if you have any advice, do you have any advice for anybody who's just starting and wants to get to that level? 
Yes, go for it. I mean, you know, you can't mess up. It's your design. You know, um, you can you can take a splash of paint and you can make it become anything that you want it to be. Yeah. So, you know, just go for it. That's what I did. Yeah. And um, I used to paint about every night, but being on the farm now, you know, this time of year, it's kind of hard to do that. But there is about every other day that I do hit the brush. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's, I think, is um, also no matter what level practitioner or where you are in your artist journey, we can call it. Um, you know, it's just that practicing and that, right. that um, commitment to painting. So it's really good that you've sort of established this creative rhythm that works for you mm -hmm. and your schedule and, um, you know, keeping up this routine of painting regularly to you know, because that's also how you grow as an artist and that's how you Absolutely. Um, develop your style. Um, so that's really awesome and really inspiring. Um, and I hope that, you know, people watching this, if there is anybody watching this who is thinking about getting started, they can see you as someone that is an inspiration and a resource, you know, um, because again, you only just started painting a few years ago and already You've produced such a, a great body of work and you've already signed on to do an art festival in August, which yes. is really awesome. Yeah, so um, yeah, so hopefully, um, you know, that can be a good way for people to um, get the confidence to begin if they're hesitant. Yes, I hope so. And I hope, you know, anybody that's watching that is just thinking about it, go for it. Try it, see what you think. Yeah, I love that. Just go for it. <laughs> go for it. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Well, thank you so much, Tammy. Um, thank you so much for joining me on here and for you, sharing your experience and your story um, and for sharing so much of your work. So um, again, I'm just going to share my screen one last time so people can see. So here is your Instagram um, account where they can see some current works. These peacocks I just saw you upload um, just recently. That's gorgeous. I love that. That was my most favorite one. I love that. Yeah, that's beautiful. I love the feathers. They're so gorgeous. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And um, I love all these animals. Look, and there's your family and your fur babies. So cute. Yes, oh, my look fur at this. Babies. The train that's the train station. station. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. And so, yeah, and another picture of, was this a commission for another friend or? It was, yes, it was. Yeah. Um, he wanted to do that for his wife for Valentine's Day because they, they loved their Christmas decor and, and she really loved it, I believe. That's awesome. And this Thank cow, you. my favorite, this one's my favorite. And I love, yes. it looks so good in this room with these colors. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so yeah, so there's your Instagram, um, Facebook, just a lady in a brush and people can contact you here if they have any more interest in commissions of homes or anything like that. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. and when I share this video, I will include links to your Facebook and Instagram so people can, um, find those links and contact you after they watch the interview. But yeah, I just want to thank you again, um, so much for, participating in the Bristol and Bloom Art Festival and for committing to doing that and for being on this interview and taking the time to share this, um, share, you know, your paintings and talk about your process. Um, I know that sometimes it can be such a scary thing to, um, you know, show your work in this way. And mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, it's just, I'm really proud of you for the work that you're doing. That's awesome. Hey, Marcy, I appreciate that. I love doing it. Thank you so much. Good. You're welcome. Um, cool. So I won't take up too much more of your time, but um, I'll let you know when I have the recording ready and then I'll share it with you. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you.